I'm Dave Mercer. And I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to the Call, a weekly sport fishing debate show. And every once in a while, you hear people talk about bass fishing one day being in the Olympics, one day being an Olympic sport. Bass fishing in the Olympics, Panger. Keep our call. I'm keeping it. I think it'll eventually happen. I think we have Team USA Bass. I think you're seeing with Jacopo Galeli and Carl Jacobson and Taku Itu. Uh, I mean, obviously, you had other Japanese anglers that came before. A lot of uh, anglers in Central and South America. Spain. Dude, there's enough countries there. Canada to where you could have an Olympic sport. And they basically have it. It's just not in the Olympics with the, with the USA bass team. They go over and they compete internationally in the Pan Am games that are held all around the world. The, the uh, Hobie Worlds in kayak was just held, I believe, in, in Sweden that brought together teams from all around the world. I, I don't see why this could not potentially be an Olympic sport it's a long way down the road, but I think all it takes is the right people to take up that cause and champion it and make it their life's passion. And I think there's a possibility it could happen. I'm, I'm keeping it. I think maybe in our lifetimes, we will see bass fishing as an Olympic sport. I think it's cool that they have those competitions. And I think it's great that that is a thing. And I think at Pan Am Games and things like that, because you've got Canada, you've got Mexico, you've, you know what I mean? Like it makes total sense. But I just think the realistic answer to it is fishing may be part of the Olympics one day. But as offensive as this sounds, especially coming from the Bassmaster MC and somebody who loves bass fishing, I don't think it'll be bass fishing. It's just not available in enough. Look at all the cities that have hosted the Olympics. I mean, how many of those cities have bass fishing? So unless it's going to become like an arena type thing, uh, the people are going to hate hearing this, but I think if, if fishing's ever an Olympic sport, it's going to be by the bugle mouth variety. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be you think it's more if it's fishing. fishing. We could do that everywhere. I mean, you look at whether it's Sochi, whether it's, I mean, sure. When the Olympics is in LA, we'd have a great bass fishing event. Uh, when the Olympics depending on summer, winter, I guess it would be in summer Olympics, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, there's a few host cities, but for the most part, there's no host city for it. So I just feel like unlike other sports, like you like to mention, that fishing has a lot of uncontrollable variables. Is that Correct. not the term that you yeah, use? That would be the term, Dave. Yeah. Well, there is a lot of that when you're trying to make this Olympic sport. So I think that fishing, I mean, if skateboard and all this other stuff can be in the Olympic Games, I think fishing may be there one time. I just don't think it's going to be bass fishing, Panger. I would love it to be, but I just don't think it is. You make a valid point with the carpet. I see it. But I, I, like I said, I think it takes a couple people to champion it for several Olympics in advance. I don't think it will stick around for the duration. I don't think it's going to become the gymnastics of the Summer Olympics. But hear me out on this. Live pigeon shooting, swimming obstacle course, tug of war, long jump for horses, <laughs> croquet, rope climbing, the tandem bicycle sprint, and a standing high jump. All summer Olympic sports at one time. I feel like bass fishing is pretty legitimate when you talk about a swimming obstacle course, tug of war, and live pigeon shooting. It's realistic. There is a USA bass team. It is a, a sport that they're very passionate. I do like your idea, though. I, I, I do think that, that carp would maybe be a more universally accepted species for it. But under the right circumstances, the right time frame, and the right people, I'm keeping bass fishing in the Olympics. I'm reading this. The, the past whole cities, London, no bass. Beijing. There's no bass in London? Beijing. Do we got bass in Beijing? I'm going to say no. no maybe. It doesn't seem like a hotbed. Athens. I've never heard of a 10 pounder out of Greece. Sydney. And they're not I, the same as bass, no, but they do Australian have a bass, clearly. Bass. Los Angeles. So we'd have to go there back. There was a one, Jamaican two, three, bobsled four, team, five. Dave. Yes, there was. And they were good. Cool runnings. Like I said, right conditions, right time. I could see it being in there for one, maybe two Olympics. But the difference between the Jake Make and Bob Sud team, I mean, there was also Eddie the Eagle from, from England, the ski jumper. I Great remember move. when I was a kid. I mean, Great it was, move. but they were 
taking, they were going from a country to compete in a sport that is odd in their country, mm-hmm. but is, it is accessible at the games. If it's not accessible at the games, it just can't happen. So unless somebody starts putting in bass fishing ponds around the world, which maybe they could do, which would be freaking awesome. My last question for you, Panger, if it does become an Olympic sport and you do have to fish for carp, are you in? Yeah, dude, gold medal. Any chance you have to win a gold medal, even if it's in live pigeon shooting or yeah. a war or, 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 or down fishing. Give me a, give me a size, size 16 hook and, and some dough balls and a All 16 in. foot rod. Little fill float weighted perfectly with shot. All in. All, I'm in. all in on it. Okay. Me and Panger are going to be uh, competing against each other in a few years in the carp Olympics, I think. But let us know whether you think, keep her call, will bass fishing ever be an Olympic sport?